Today we're going to be reacting to what is possibly the dumbest person on TikTok with the dumbest take of the week, the month, if not the year so far. This person, as you will see, can't figure out why she can't get a job. Now, you've probably seen this video and multiple people had their reactions on it, but I wanted to give you guys my unique take because there's one thing that she does say in the very initial video that I think people misunderstand what she means when she says what she says. So let's not waste too much time. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I wanted to come on here and talk about something that is really starting to annoy me. So I applied for a job at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago and they denied my application. They couldn't even call me. They just sent me some automated email. So I went in today and I was like, so what was the reason I didn't get hired? And she was like, oh, like you just like don't have enough experience. There was candidates that had like more experience than you. So this is the part that a lot of people get hung up on. Most people will say, well, have you looked at yourself? Have you looked at your fucking tattoos? Which yes, I do agree are 100% ridiculous. You cannot expect to look like this and think that you are going to be the face of a company. It's just not going to happen. I mean, I guess you can be the face of a company if you're talking, if the company you're talking about is a tattoo company, but when it comes to service jobs where, where you're dealing with customers, where you're front facing customers, a person has a literal fucking demon tattoo on their neck. Isn't going to get a job where they're dealing with people on a daily basis. It's just not going to happen. People are going to feel very uncomfortable looking at the fucking demon on your neck and then the pentagram with the Baphomet on your chest. And that's not including the rest of the fucking tattoos. You have your forehead tattooed and the side of your face. And she has what's called a blackout tattoo right there on her arm, which is just literally, you just ink it black. There's no point to it is just called a blackout tattoo now those are the most pointless tattoos in my opinion but she made the decision she made but let's get back to the point i was trying to make the point i was trying to make is that she says she sent in an application most people get hung up on the fact that she went to the store and asked why she wasn't hired they wouldn't have known what she looked like prior to her walking in the store so maybe she is telling the truth about what they told her in the store about it not being because she had all these crazy tattoos because again there is no way for them to have been able to tell what she looked like unless she had gotten an interview. But she doesn't make that clear. She just sent in an application and never heard back. So I'm assuming based on what she's saying, she did not even have an interview. So of course they didn't hire her because they probably chose somebody else. A lot of these companies, they already know who they're going to hire. They, they most of the time hire within the company. They don't go out of their way to get somebody. They can get somebody that already knows what they're doing. So she could be telling the truth about that, but the tattoos don't help if you get interviews and you go to the interview looking like a fucking maniac. Let's continue. And, you know, I asked her if it was about my tattoos, obviously, because I know a lot of places don't like tattoos. She said that wasn't the reason. I don't feel like that's true. It's not the tattoos because while you are correct, a lot of places do want you to be professional, do want you to have a certain look to represent their company. Most people today have tattoos. It's where you decide to get the tattoos that matters. I have tattoos. I have this arm tattoo. I have a chest tattoo and I have a wrist tattoo. None of my tattoos make me look unprofessional. I can put on a suit and you wouldn't even know I have tattoos. When you have tattoos on your literal fucking face, it's kind of hard to hire you to work a job where you're front facing people every day. No one wants to hire you. The day you decided to get face tattoos was the day you decided that you no longer wanted to be employed by a majority of people. That is the day you decided that you wanted to be self-employed. That is the day you decided that you might as well learn how to tattoo because that's the only fucking job you can get. She should just become a fucking tattoo artist and just go all out on the face. Fuck it. At that point, it doesn't even matter. Instead, she decided that she was going to get these dumbass tattoos and then pretend like she doesn't know why people don't like tattoos and, and she doesn't understand why she didn't get the job or she didn't get an interview or whatever, whatever it is. You didn't get the job because you look like a fucking clown. Have you tried applying for the circus? But whatever, I'll leave it at that. So I'm just wondering how like teenagers and young adults who haven't had a job before um, how are they supposed to get employed if these places are only hiring people with experience? So they're not only hiring people with experience. Most of these entry level jobs will hire somebody off the street. 
They just didn't want to hire you and you weren't the candidate they wanted. But I will agree with her on one point. Right when you get out of college, all these companies want 10 years of experience for entry level fucking jobs. It doesn't make any sense. How are you supposed to get the experience if no one will give you the experience or give you the opportunity to prove yourself or to gain the experience and knowledge? They want three years of fucking experience of you doing the job you're applying for, even though you have a degree. And on top of that, they're still going to pay you like shit. Have seven to 10 years of experience. We're going to pay you $50,000 a year. How's that sound for an entry level position? And the job market right now doesn't look too hot because I'm looking at jobs and I'm not because I need to. I don't need to, but I'll be graduating college in the winter. And I'm already looking at my options and based on what I'm looking for, it's like all these companies just want, I don't understand what, what job, I don't have job experience of what I went to college for. I have experience of what I did in the military, but what I did in the military is vastly different than what I'm going to school for. I did transportation in the military. I'm going to school for business and marketing. How the fuck am I supposed to get experience in business and marketing without getting a job that gives me that experience? And it's extremely tough also because I tried to get an internship. I tried. I applied to a bunch of them. Didn't hear back from any of them except for one. And it was a letter of denial. So I do understand that point where she's coming from. And this is not me complaining either about not being able to find a job because I'm sure I'll do well. My military experience and my background will help me out a ton. I know I will be able to land something. I'm just saying that I do understand what she's talking about here. How are these young people who've never had a job and are fresh out of college supposed to get jobs when the jobs have ridiculous requirements that require prior experience and only want to pay you minimum wage anyways? It doesn't make sense. Younger people just can't get a job because they haven't worked enough. So like they'll deny a 16 year old a job because they don't have enough work experience. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I do okay with money as is, so I didn't like need the job, but I would have liked it to have made some extra money so I could pay off my debt quicker. I want you guys to talk about in the comments. So if you do okay with money, why the fuck did you apply for a job? If you have money, why the fuck did you apply for a job? But trust me guys, the reason it's not her money and I'm going to, we're going to get to it. Stay, stick around until the end of the video and you'll see why it all makes sense. It's not her money that she's doing okay with. It's not her money the reason why she's getting by is she doesn't technically need a job, which she does in this economy. Everybody needs a job, but she's not doing well with money. She's doing well with somebody else's money and it all makes sense here real soon. What it's been like for you finding a job recently, like if it's been easy or if it's been difficult. And I want to know like what kind of experience you guys have, because I want to see if I'm the only person that's like experiencing this right now or not. And, you know, I hate that my tattoos are such a defining factor for me getting a job or not. Like, just because I have tattoos doesn't mean I'm not going to be a good worker. Like, I just, I do not understand that at all. Yeah, that doesn't mean that you're not going to be a good worker. It does show that you lack basic common sense. Because common sense would dictate that you do not get tattoos on your neck. You do not get tattoos on your face. You do not get tattoos on your forehead. You don't have 16,000 fucking piercings on your face. Basic common sense would dictate that. And so when a potential employer looks at you and sees that you have all these red flags, you have a literal demon on your neck and a literal fucking devil on your chest, he's going to deduce that you don't have the common sense needed for a fucking job because you didn't even have the common sense to maybe not get your fucking face tattooed with a fucking demon on it. That's what that says about you. It's not whether or not you'll be a good worker. It's the fact that you don't have common sense. Because if you knew that tattooing, especially face tattoos, were frowned upon in this society, then you would know that you shouldn't get fucking face tattoos. It is that fucking simple. I don't understand how this person does not understand this. Please explain it to me. Because quite literally some of the most smart, intelligent people I've ever met are people with tattoos. But I guarantee you they don't have face tattoos. And piercings. I could be wrong, but I've seen that like in Europe, like people with tattoos and piercings can get jobs like way easier there. So why is America not hopped on the bandwagon? You need to go apply at Walmart for an overnight stock shift because that's probably what you can get at this point because you don't have to deal with people. Walmart is closed at night. It's no longer 24 hours a day anymore. So nobody else but your co-workers and your employer are going to see your demon tattoo on your neck. That's where you need to go apply. You can't apply at jobs where you're going to be facing people all day, every day. You can't, you can't even apply to McDonald's. I don't even think McDonald's will take you at this point. Another thing too is like all these places, they say that they're hiring, 
but I feel like they're not. They're just not hiring you. Because I shop at all of these stores and I see hiring now signs, but um, those signs have been up for months and I know plenty of people are looking for work. So how have they still not hired people? Sorry for the long ranting video, but I just feel like this is something that needs to be talked about. It's so annoying. And for anyone that is looking for a job right now that is younger and doesn't have experience, I truly wish you the best of luck because it is very hard out here right now. What we need to talk about is the fact that you're delusional if you think that anyone would ever hire you for a job when your face looks like that. Especially when the job entails you being front facing in front of people. Anyways, after this, she got a bunch of backlash on her video and then she posted this video that we're going to react to real quick. Wow, it's not even 7 a.m. I woke up and read the comments on my video and I have a lot to say. Um, you guys miss the point of that video entirely. No one missed I the point. I don't need that job at TJ Maxx. You don't need the job, so why did you apply? And then why did you get on the internet to complain about the fact that you can't find a fucking job if you didn't need the job? Please explain that to me, lady. I'm uh, I'm all ears. Let's 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 listen. I make plenty of money. If, Doing what? OnlyFans? If I didn't make enough money, I would not be able to afford a Dodge Challenger that has a almost $500 monthly payment. There it is. You see where the common sense is lacking? The face tattoos tell you everything you need to know about this person's common sense. She can't even make good financial decisions. She has a $500 car payment that I guarantee you and I'm telling you you will see because we're gonna react to it soon she's not the one paying for it I guarantee you is this other person you will see I have thousands of dollars worth of artwork on my body I have seven thousand dollar breast implants and I have about three thousand dollars of filler in my face that's not something to brag about oh again it goes back to the fact that this Dumbass bitch makes poor financial decisions. Poor financial fucking decision maker. Thousands of dollars wasted on tattoos. I get it. Everybody has their hobbies. Ink your body away. I have three. I never get more than three. That's it for me. Ink your body the fuck away. But don't ink your face and expect to get a job. Spent $7,000 on fucking boobs. Not a financially smart decision. Because why did you need implants for? And then thousands of dollars on filler for your face that you need to redo every couple months, this bitch just literally burns money. And it's crazy, it's like, you need to have money to do those things. I just wanted the job to make more money because what's wrong with wanting to make more money? But you know, I posted that video because I knew I was gonna get exactly those kind of reactions. <laughs> Oh, she's doing the meme. You know what meme she's doing? She's doing the, I'm not retarded. I'm just pretending to be retarded meme. That's what she's actually doing right now. Oh, I knew that that was the response that I was going to get. Ha ha, joke's on you. No, bitch, you're fucking retarded. Joke's on you still. And there's people saying, oh, it's because of your satanic tattoos. So if it is about my satanic tattoos, that's religious discrimination. Satanism is not a religion recognized in the United States. Which it's illegal to discriminate against someone based off of their religious beliefs. So you believe in Satan, bitch. I'm glad you didn't get hired for that job. And appearance has nothing to do with work skills. Other comments that I noticed is people said that I voted for Biden. Um, I haven't voted before, and I would never vote for him. I'm not surprised. And people are like, oh, well, leave America. Um, once my husband is out of the military, that is our plan. There it is. She just gave you a preview of who's most likely paying for these thousands of dollars worth of fucking work on her body and the ink and the fillers. That's who's paying for it. More than likely. And it's more than likely all on credit cards anyways. That they're still paying for. Because she said that she wanted the job because she wanted to pay her debt faster. Why are you in debt? 
Why are you in debt? What kind of debt? Credit card debt? The $7,000 that you put on a credit card so you can get those boobs that you wanted? So you can pay 25 fucking percent APR and do the minimum payments and have to pay the credit card for 52 fucking years? To pay it off completely? $7,000 and you made the credit card company $40,000 fucking dollars on top of it. That's what you wanted because you have debt. It's not because you have money or you do well with money. It's because you put that bitch on a credit card. <laughs> But, you know, since he has a military contract to serve out, we can't just leave quite yet. So funny, because it's always, like, older generations that say that younger people are the ones that get all triggered and stuff the most, when, um, I think it's quite literally the opposite. And old people are in my comments saying that they're afraid of me. Good, I'm glad. I don't want to be around you. <laughs> Um, old people yeah, are- I don't, I don't think most people want to be around you either. Quite literally the reason why the United States is in quite literal chaos right now. All of these politicians literally look like they're about to take their last breath. But so, bottom line, um, everyone missed the whole point of that video. Notice how she complained about the state of the United States, but says she doesn't vote. So, bitch, don't even give me that because you don't even give a fuck enough to do your civic duty and go out and vote for what you believe in. Spare me. Um, I don't need that job. I make enough money. So yeah, I am gonna go enjoy my day getting some Starbucks and shopping. <laughs> you need to brush your teeth, bitch. All right, now we have the final video in the saga that we're gonna react to. Um, and obviously, as you can see, this is her and her husband. And it's no surprise to me that she's married to a fucking crayon eater. For those of you who don't know, they're not in the military. That's the joke. That's what we call the Marines. They eat fucking crayons. Um, but yeah, it's no surprise she's married to a crayon eater who's probably the one that's funding all this shit and going into debt uh, with credit cards um, just to satisfy this need. The crazy thing is that she's not a she's not an ugly girl. Like you can actually see past her tattoos. Like you can actually see her face. She's very pretty, but she ruined her body. By getting these ugly tattoos. And not just her body. The most important part. The first thing that people see. Her face. The thing that people have to interact with. Her face. She ruined it. So let's go ahead and see what she has to say in this final video. And then I'll give you guys my final opinion on this young lady. So this is my husband. And yes, he has tattoos just like me. Except for his face and neck. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory where he found his job so um yeah so now let me ask you because you said your husband has tattoos except for his neck and face which we can all see obviously why have you have you ever asked your husband to go and get a face tattoo or neck tattoo and ask him what would happen if he actually got one because he'd be kicked the fuck out the military quick fast and in a hurry now don't get me wrong i've seen people with tattoos like neck tattoos face tattoos very small ones though and those are usually waived in times of war. Like I joined the army in 2009. I was 17 years old. And throughout my career, I saw people with hand tattoos, neck tattoos, um, not so much face, but I'd see it like behind the ear. And how they got in was they got a waiver because at the time, guess what? The U.S. military needed bodies to go fight a war in Iraq and Afghanistan and all that. So they were letting a lot of people in. They were giving bonuses. I remember when I joined the army in 2009, they gave me a $20,000 bonus. For picking the job that I did. But back to this. I guarantee your husband knows he can't get no fucking tattoos on his hands or, or neck or face. So no shit. Why don't you... They, since your husband has tattoos like you say. Because that's the logic that you're trying to explain. Why don't you go to the recruiting office and join the fucking Marines? See if the recruiter doesn't laugh you out of the fucking office. And tell you to come back when you get that shit lasered off your face. Like are we just supposed to pretend that you don't look ridiculous? And again, I guarantee you it's this guy going into debt paying for all the shit that she talks about, he's probably the one paying for the $500 car note. That's not including the insurance, which is probably another two, $300 for that car. A month. And she thinks it's a flex. Oh yeah, I'm using my husband's money and my husband's BAH to fund my lifestyle. That's not a flex, lady. It's not a fucking flex. And if you got a job, it's got to be a web because what else it is? What else is it? Now, let me check TikTok. Let me see if it's let me see if it's actually what I think it is. Let me check TikTok. So I checked out her page and it's not TikTok. So I don't know how she's making money. Uh, maybe she sells things. I'm not going to watch her videos. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to give this bitch views that she doesn't deserve, in my opinion. But yeah, more than likely, this guy is the one paying for all of it. To be honest, she deserves all the backlash she got. And her trying to justify herself online 
to strangers just makes her look even worse. Don't even justify yourself because regardless of what you say, you're not going to be justified in the in the in the complaint that you have based on the actions that you have made in your life, which is to get your face fucked up like this and your neck fucked up like this and then get tattoos of of, of Baphomet with a pentagram on it. You just look ridiculous and you deserve all the clowning that you got online. That's all I got for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and follow me on social media, and join the Discord. Links are always in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!